Hello everyone, this is Steven from the Even Steven channel. Where are all these parts on the table here? We'll, we'll get there. Today's video is entitled... Excuse me. <coughs> Sig P250. Do I still love it? Where do we begin? Well, first of all, my first... So this is a series of videos I'm doing. I did um, Glock 19, the Breda PX4 Storm, and today the Sig P250. And we're kind of revisiting guns that I've done videos on before and seeing that, you know, a year or two later, do I still like them? So my initial video, I did not have the manual for the Sig P250. I couldn't, I didn't know where it was. I thought I lost it. But um, interesting that a lot of the, the photos about the Sig P250 and the gun are the um, earlier models that had a uh, kind of weird more just a different frame. See how the, the, the frame is it's not squared off on the bottom there. It's just a little shaped a little differently. That's the uh, the very very earliest style of P250 and they went to more of, of this here which is much more common just to see. But yeah so here's the uh, manual here is the um, uh, trigger lock what it's worth. Um, I've had this gun had this piece here for over 10 years. It's I've had this gun longer than any other gun. So the Sig P250, what is it? Well, this right here, and I don't think I showed this very well in my initial video. This is the gun. That's the it's actually a little bit obscured. I believe that's the serial number. Yeah, you know, here's the trigger. Here's the hammer. This is, for all intents and purposes, as far as the ATF is concerned, the gun. And around this, you could build a proper firearm. This is technically legally. Be careful with this. This likes to come out. This has come out on camera for me. Be careful with that. That that stays in place. Uh, and while this is legally the gun, this is not a proper firearm. You have to build a proper firearm around it. So what should we do today? So this, these are both compact sized grips, grip modules. Inside that compact size, there is the compact large and the compact medium. Um, ever so slightly bigger. You might not be able to tell on camera. However, I am a sucker for FDE, so we're gonna go with FDE today. So now we gotta start building our gun. We gotta get this in here. I'm gonna try to cam that down. Let's see, make sure. Okay. I feel like I'm not getting in there properly. So, this is not something you do very quickly, by the way. I, maybe I'm not doing it correctly. So, I'm gonna pull back on the hammer, and pulling back on the hammer allows me to pull back a little bit on the trigger. Kind of, you kind of sneak it in there. See how it lined up? So we now we, we can put... Let's see if we get in there. We're in there good. Okay. Now I can put the takedown lever in. Now you might have a little bit of uh, judicious wiggling to get everything lined up properly. That's a proper term, judicious wiggling. So now we have... Oh, light came on. This light has not been working, it has been working, it's working now, okay. Probably needs new batteries. So now we have the basically the lower taken care of. Now we're gonna need an upper. So, um, let's see what here, we have a nine millimeter compact slide. When I had gotten this nine millimeter compact slide, I bought this on thing Gumbroker or eBay. Um, someone gave me the wrong recoil spring, so I had to go out and find a replacement recoil and recoil spring. You know, recoil a guide rod and spring. I think someone stuck like a Glock recoil spring in here, which did work for a time and then it got broken up. So someone pointed that out in one of my videos and you were correct, sir. Someone sold me the wrong recoil spring. Uh, that was not good. I had to buy this myself. This, by the way, is a P228 recoil guide rod. It works. So we have a nine millimeter compact slide. We have my 357 SIG slide, which I don't use. 357 SIG is prohibitively expensive, but if I want to, I could pop my 
40 Smith & Wesson barrel in there. So I could use 37 SIG or 40 Smith & Wesson. So if you can't tell, the SIG P250 is very modular. Different grip sizes. You know, I have the compact, but I get the full size grip if I want. Full size grip, full size grip small, medium, large, compact, small, medium, large. 9 millimeter, 37 SIG. However, very recently I bought this 9 millimeter full size slide. And when I picked it up, it, it was not used. It was probably on fire when I got it. This particular one comes with night sights. So I'm going to put this on here and it goes on. I will note this on this one, if you go too slowly with the slide, it gets stuck right there. It needs a little bit of judicious force. So now I have kind of a, a weird hybrid. I have the full size slide and the compact frame and I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So these are actually uh, 40 Smith & Wesson slash 37 SIG magazines. Um, however, you can't put 9mm in here and I have done it. I did it today and it worked pretty well. So now we have a proper SIG P250. Yeah. So let's talk about it. So back to the magazines. These are 10 round magazines unfortunately. Standard capacity for 9mm in the compact is 15. I think the 40 Smith & Wesson and 37 SIG, that's like 12 or 13. So, i got 10 round magazines here. Grip, good texturing all around. Actually, I always like this. I think even for the time it came out, this is pretty well thought out of, th thought out. The magazine release is reversible. Magazine's cut on both sides for swapping the magazine. I forgot how to do it. You gotta like, you gotta like push this in here and then like put a paper clip in there. You got slide release on both sides, nice. So yeah, I like the sights. These are night sights as well. I think they're pretty good. Slide release on both sides, I didn't say it. Slide serrations in the back, none in the front. It wasn't the style at the time. This gun has been around for a while. It's a hammer fired gun. It's a short recoil, although I can't really show. Yeah, short recoil gun. So the slide and barrel are gonna reciprocate for a short time. And then after a while, the barrel's gonna cam up and the slides can continue. Hard to show on this gun, it gets a little bit, it's a little new, a little sticky. Trust me on that. We got the double action trigger pull. So I, I was able to shoot this side by side with my Breda PX4 Storm. And I feel like this double action pull is lighter than the Breda PX4 Storm in double action, which makes sense. But heavier than the PX4 Storm in single action, which, which also makes sense. So it kind of split, splits the difference. And honestly, I don't mind it. I could stage it like this. I can go out, stage. I can kind of push my finger against the frame as a stopping point, and then get there. Um, so yeah. Oh, by the way, it's called the Sig Sauer P250. So do I still love the Sig P250? It's not coming across. Yes, I do like the gun. I still like it. This, of course, is labeled Compact Medium. I think there was a point where the SIG 320 had come out. This used to say SIG P250, and when the 320 came out, they changed it to Compact Medium. So let me see. Where's my other frame? What does that say? So this one actually says SIG P250. This is an earlier example. There was a, a time when the P250 and the 320 had identical frames, and then they changed the, the 320 um, slide release and they kind of recontoured it so that they're a little bit different now. I found this going to be reliable, durable, accurate, accurate, my targets. Fun to shoot as well. Let me see here. Let me get my Sigit P250 targets out. Now, in my initial video, um, my targets weren't all that great because I was shooting 357 Sig and I hadn't shot in a while. This is P250 at seven yards. Looks like I got double on the bullseye. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Ten yards. Ten yards. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice, tight. I like that. Fifteen yards. Fifteen yards. One. Is that two? Three, four. 
I don't believe. Yeah, I think that's 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 a double right there. Twenty yards. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-five yards. One, two, three, four, five. In my hands, I say this gun is supremely accurate. It shoots to point of aim, like you know, you light the sights, and it's going to hit right above the right above the sights, which is where you want it for good precise shooting. Maybe not competition shooting, but for good precise shooting, the Sig P250 in this in this configuration, this frame and this size and this caliber, I really like the way it shoots. It's the most accurate gun I have. It's not the fastest gun to shoot. It's kind of different, but it's the most accurate one I have. So in my my recent series of do I still love it, I feel like I'm the most enthusiastic about the P250. There was a time when I only had the 357 Sig slide for it, and I was able to get different parts on eBay and Gunbroker. And now that I have this in 9mm, it's a little more practical for me to shoot. And now that I have the long slide version with kind of this thing to match, I like how this all looks. I like I like the I like how it looks. I like the FDE, I like the long slide, I like the, the TLR1 on here. And I'm hesitant to call this my go-to gun. You know, if World War III happened today, right now, um, I would not feel at a disadvantage if I carried this gun. I feel like, yeah, it's a full-size combat handgun. Works just as good as anything else. Uh, it would match, also match my AR-15 very well. My FDE AR-15, uh, FDE gun. It would match, you know, you got to call it coordinate in World War III. And honestly, yeah, I still do love the Sig P250. In fact, I love it a little more recently because I got 9mm. I just got this slide on top. It's kind of reinvigorated. It's kind of made me a little more excited about the gun again. Reliable, accurate, durable, all those good things. I still do love the Sig P250. And again, my recent video videos, the Glock 19 and the Beretta PX4 Storm, I'm a little more enthusiastic about it because I got some parts to play with, honestly. So... And I think that's just about going to do it. This is Steven from the Even Steven channel. Please do all that like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.